everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. We're back on the Long Island Railroad on Train Simulator, so big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. And we're going to be checking out one of the branch lines. We're going to be checking out East Willerston, which is on the Oyster Bay branch. I would have done St. Albans as well, but for some reason in Quick Drive, I don't think you can start or end there. So we're just going to do this branch. I've started at New Hyde Park, so we then have to stop at, I think, Kyle Place and then Mineola. And then, no, not Carl Place, one of the stops. No, Maryland Avenue, then Minola, and then East Williston, which is on the branch line. So I thought we'd check it out and um, just have a little, well, a little go. Let's actually take a screenshot as well, because it actually looks quite nice. There we go. Right, let's um, get in the train and set it up, which is very, well, it's the same as the train sim world one to set up. So let's um, come down to here, do the key. Uh, we'll set that to, let's get that on. Set that to max. So that's a forward, and then what we do is we charge the brakes, and that's quite noisy, isn't it? Let's do that. Which East Williston is in three miles, but we'll stop at the stations as well. Um, so we'll just pretend passengers have already got... No, in fact, no, let's open the doors here. There we go. Let's hope they don't stay open for too long, <laughs> as I do want to get going. Little six-car unit we are. Yeah, so let me show you on the map. So, yeah, oh, there you go. So we're going to be stopping at Maryland Avenue, Manola, and then up the Oyster Bay branch into East Williston, which is up there. So something we haven't seen before. And at some point I'll try and set Albans as well. Off we go. It does feel it feels weird playing Long Island Railroad on, on here. Just as we have had it on Trains in World for Three and a half, almost four years. That does feel weird playing it on this version. Although a couple of positives about this version is it's more modern. Uh, I think the mainline sections, this bit set in 2019 and sort of the Harold area. That's modern day 2021. Um, even just saying 2021 sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds too modern. Um, and also it feels much more detailed as well on the train sim version. And Brandon came in our chat last night. Apparently it took about five months to make. So yeah, a lot of work has gone into this route. Fill up slightly more. Beep, 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 yes. As we get that, I don't know how long it's going to take to get to East, but it's probably not too long. Let's hope it's not too quick. Just need the video to be... Fairly, uh, well, not, you know, 10 minutes or so. I don't know if an Oyster Bay branch service would actually stop at um, all these stations. In fact, I think this service would actually be operated by a diesel train. So we are a little bit wrong by doing it in the M7. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, that's cool. And this is Marillon Avenue. Do you think what they've done now in real life is they've stripped off this platform here, moved it slightly further back, and then put another track in. I think it's now three tracks through here, so I guess all the fast trains don't have to sort of, you know, have to wait about for the slow ones. It's quite fast. If you look at Google Maps or Google Earth, whatever, uh, if you look down at these stations, you can actually see where they've sort of moved it back, so they can put another track in. Hang on, we're, we're six coaches, aren't we? I'm just up to the eight. Oops. Was there actually a six one? There was a six one, wasn't there? So I'm so used to doing bloody um, eight to on this bit. Yeah, that's where we should have stopped. It's all good, all good. The interior, I mean, looks as if it was in Train Sim World as well. Looks good. There's the sort of little guard buzzer. And it is my Nola next. Let's get going. Get a bit of external action. <laughs> FPS is slightly low. You can see, I mean, at, I don't know, 20 FPS or so. It's just how detailed it is. It's very, very detailed. If we, in fact, go up, you can just see how much detail has been put in. 
I mean, in some routes it only goes as far as, say, there, the scenery, but it goes all the way over there. A lot has gone into this. Hang on, that's the, um, that's the Hempstead branch over there, isn't it? <laughs> that's the Hempstead branch. Can we actually see where it curls off towards, um... I think my she already curled off by there. <laughs> that's quite cool to see that over there. Here's the route map. Yeah, that would be, uh... Yeah, that's, that's Garden City over there. Cool. You can see the route map there. So very similar to the TSW one, apart from you get St Albans down here. Um, and here you get East Williston where we're going. Yes, beep, beep, beep. Oh no, it's... Uh, oh yeah, 15. Why is it 15? Oh my god, it's it doesn't like us. It gets quite slow by the looks of things. Let's see if we can actually go on. Let's go up again. Number two. I want to see if I can see Garden City. That's got... Yeah, there, there is there. Look. There's Garden City behind sort of these buildings here. And you've got sort of the freight track that goes along and the bit that goes off here. So Country Life Press is like there. And that then goes off to uh, Hempstead over there. <laughs> That's quite cool seeing that far in the distance. Right, where are we? We are... This one here, I think. Yeah, that's us there. So says I want to go to that 15. Why 15? Cool. Well, we slowly make our way towards Mineola. Hopefully it's not 15 up the branch as well. In fact, maybe it's 15 because of the 15 limit there, but that'll be quite in advance. So I don't think it would be because of that. Might be. There's the alerter there. One thing I noticed, though, is that the horn on this one, the sort of lower sort of tone to it, not really low, the other tone to it, from the inside at least, that sounds almost exactly like the Train Sim World M7A Harlem line horn. And then this as well, that just sounds like the Long Island one. Yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to uh, show this off. And this one was built by uh, Brandon. There's a couple, I think someone, a couple other people did help as well. But Brandon also worked on the Boston Sprinter route as well. Sort of, I think he actually said he started building it back when the Trenton World editor um, was sort of. You know, when they were beta testing that, he started building the Boston Sprinter and all. Um, and then Matt came along and he was like, oh, can we maybe use this for Trains in World? And then in the end, well, that happened. That's why we got Boston Sprinter. So that's two routes I know Brandon's done. Boston Sprinter and, well, this version of Long Island. I think I've missed the stop mark again, haven't I? Oh, there it is there. And those yellow stop markers are for the diesel trains. So I wonder if we'll see on this version first. Here we are. This is Minola. Cool. I suppose at this station, one, you know, as they're doing the, uh, they're making it three tracks. I suppose it's been fairly simple. It seems the bridge already sort of allows for another track to be in. Right, East Wilston next. That's like one of the weirdest bloody guard buzzers. <laughs> right, let's get going. Still 15. Let's go and check the branch out. Into the unknown. It's only for just over a mile, but still. A bit of track we haven't seen before. But yeah, this is the Oyster Bay branch. Go check it out. Lovely. Apologies, everyone. Hang 
down we go. It goes up to 30, then up to 60. Love it. Let's try and get a shot as well of the train as we go uh, around here. Hold on. There you go. Let's uh, unpause that. If only that button worked on TSW. So into the unknown. We say goodbye to the sort of the main line. Another train there on its way down. So I think this would mostly be a diesel trains in real life. But I think the diesel trains have a electric shoe on them as well, so they can use the third rail. I suppose once they get past East Williston, they then probably change over to diesel. That's a 30. Getting that up. SB. Then it goes up to 60. Quite cool though. Something different. Lovely. But yeah, what does everyone think of the uh, Long Island Railroad on Train Simulator as opposed to Train Sim World? It'd be great to hear your thoughts below in the um, comments. It's a comment away. Oh, no, you want us to come uh, Alright, sorry. Hold on. There we go, it's, been, it's screaming at us again. So yeah, you get a couple of little bonuses. You get this bit to East Williston and also the bit down to St Albans on the Montauk branch. Which actually, if you want to see the Montauk branch, do check out a recent railroad video we did where we signalled the uh, Montauk branch or Montauk branch. It goes quite away. Here we are, this is East Williston. Sort of reminds me of um, something like Nassau Boulevard, sort of the way the everything is on this bit. So that's on the Hempstead branch. Oh, down to 15. Ah, it's bringing us down. It's alright, it's alright, don't worry. Yeah, nice little bonus. I don't know if there's any scenarios which come down to this bit, but I mean, you know, workshop scenarios and stuff, you'll probably see this bit utilised a fair bit. Especially if we get a diesel uh, loco at some point. Well then, it will be utilised. Look at this, at the sort of old high street. Love it. Seems like quite a new station as well. Or a very recently renovated one. I see this bit set in 2019, or the bit nearer to New York Penn set 2021. There we go. East Williston. There we go. Well, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. Uh, big thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.